I'm sure most people experience Universal Studio Singapore, a great theme park here. Not very big, but the total rides can occupy your whole day. In total, there are 28 rides within its 7 distinct zones. Some of the iconic rides are Transformer the Ride, Battlestar Galactica, Revenge of the Mummy, and Jurassic Park Rapids Adventure. We choose a Friday afternoon. Too bad it was raining the whole morning, so we delay our visit to 1pm. Luckily, the rain stopped by the time we enter. The crowd was quite big, since it was a school holiday. It wasn't my first visit to USS, as I have been here once on our company team building activities. Well, as mentioned, the park is not very big, but still, you need to wear comfy shoes because you need to walk around the 20 hectares area, and that's the size of 25 football fields combined. If you compare the Universal Studio Singapore and Universal Studio Hollywood, it is really not very big at all. In fact, it is just way too small. I would suggest you come early before the park opens so that you get full utilized during the operating hours and enjoy the most of your ticket. Do bring in a small towel and poncho in case you get wet from some of the rides. During the pandemic period, many restaurants aren't open. Only a few of them operate, but you can still take away and eat it at the designated area. Drinks and snacks such as fried chicken and fries, nuggets and burgers are available in many selling push carts. There should be lots of interactive and fun shows at USS, but due to the pandemic, many of the shows aren't operating, so we didn't get to watch any. The last time I visited the movie Magic, it was exciting to see the hurricane hitting the city and the debris flying all over in front of you. If the light camera actions opened, you have to see the special effects yourself. Our visit, one of us suddenly fall sick and encounter a serious stomach ache. She was feeling nausea and lightheaded. She went to the ladies and rested at the baby changing table. In fact, I was shocked to see her lying down there. So I quickly ran to one of the staff at the queue of the ride and told her that someone is fainting in the toilet and could not walk. The staff immediately called up for assistance via her phone and later a wheelchair was brought up to bring her to the customer service area. It was the social distancing ambassador who pushed the wheelchair over and helped out all the way. He was kind to assist us all the way and let us use the wheelchair throughout. The poor young lady rested in the wheelchair and waited for her mom to pick her up near the entrance. The moral of the story is, is always to bring in some medication. And this is what happens when you are feeling unwell in the theme park. You can always ask for help from the staff. They will arrange for other staff to come to assist you. Well, it was a different experience for this theme park because I didn't expect this to happen. After the poor girl left, 
we still continue with another easy ride on the water. There are some popular meet and greet characters that you should look out for. There is a daily schedule and these characters will walk on the streets and you can queue for photos with them. Now come my final thoughts for you. Well, we do online booking to enjoy discounts and you can always use your Singapore Rediscover voucher for the USS ticket. Check online what is the operating hours because due to pandemics, the hours get changed. During my visit, the operating hour starts at 12 p.m. Lastly, I hope you enjoy your USS and let me know how was your experience. Well, if you enjoy my travel stories in Singapore, do subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye bye.